Hello, this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space channel. Today I'm reading from Psalm 126 on the night of Hurricane Helena uh, from an ICU uh, room in a hospital. I thank God that I have breath left in me. I thank God through the wonderful doctors and nurses here at the hospital who are helping me. And I thank God for my family that's able to take care of Marty while I'm in the hospital. And when I get discharged from this hospital, it will be a day of celebration when I get back to my recliner and then when I get back to my table where I do my unboxings and things are back to normal because it's going to happen. So I'm reading from Psalm 119. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. When our mouths were filled, or when our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with the shouts of joy, then they said unto the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord like streams like streams in the nabib for those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy he who goes out weeping bearing the seed for sowing shall come home with shouts of joy bringing his sheaves with him oh my goodness let me see if I can remember it bringing in the sheaves bringing in the sheaves there'll be great rejoicing bringing in the sheaves that was not very good but that's an old hymn that I remember from my childhood and I never made when I was young this connection um, and it's so true when you're out sowing seeds uh, sometimes you don't have a lot of resources you don't feel blessed you're having to do all that hard work but when you finally have the harvest things are wonderful you've done what you're supposed to do and you reap the reward and hopefully pray for me that I can do what I need to do to keep my health I need to change my diet I need to check my sugar every day and I need to listen to the doctors I have been a very stubborn person and uh, I need to pray for forgiveness. Before I leave this hospital, I'm going to pray for forgiveness. Because you've got to take care of yourself first sometimes. It's uh, necessary for you to care for those around you and do the things that you need to do. It absolutely is. And I, I want to wake up every morning singing hymns to God in addition to studying my Bible and praying. Even though I'm not going to record my singing, I'm going to do you all a favor in that. I, I might sing a song that I practice a lot, but I, I don't have a good singing voice. So, um, maybe I'll work on doing that, but I just want to sing in the privacy of my home 
every morning a hymn to the Lord in addition to praying. Singing is something that God wants us to do, to rejoice, to be happy, to be healthy. And that's part of the blessings of being a child of God. Now, I did want to say that this is when the fortunes of Zion return. We are to pray. We were like those in a dream. And they think that this is when the Babylonian captivity ended. And when the people returned home after 70 years. All of these psalms, the songs of ascent, um, were sung from uh, Psalm 120 to 134 are songs that were sung on the journey to Jerusalem to celebrate the festivals. And um, what a wonderful song to sing when traveling to go to uh, Passover or the Feast of Tabernacles. And I'm going to forget the um, the third one. But, you know, they have me on some very wonderful uh, painkillers right now. I'm not normally take painkillers, but things got extreme and I'm going to come off the painkillers and I'm going to go home and I'm going to deal with the pain but I am still going to sing rejoiceful songs unto the Lord. Uh, you all have a wonderful and blessed day.